since I bought the house that I live in. I have two small children. We come up here, we play in this park. I'm good with the way it is. I used to be one of the kids that drank in this parking lot before we went to football games. I mean, it's, it's a fact of life. We can't change that for the better or for the worse, okay? Um, I didn't ask for a park, you know, and I do have a couple questions. I know a lot of people are getting up here and going on, um, and I'll get to that in a second, but um, this is my home. I got married in this church. So, you know, I'm, I'm good with the way things are. They're not broke. I don't want them fixed. And I have small children. You know, my concerns are traffic. Yale is already at Brick Street. I'm one of the people that drives too fast sometimes. And I have small children. Um, I don't, I don't, I guess one of my questions is, we're going to have more traffic, probably potentially more crime, the issue with the toilets. And you have to sell me the upside of how this is going to help me. And I have small children. So I'm good with how my yard is. I'm good with, you know, our neighborhood's turning over. We're getting more small kids, which is great for me because I have little kids. But something you addressed early in your presentation is, at the end of three years, potentially this all goes away. So you guys take your playground equipment and potentially leave. The equipment might stay, it might go. Again, I'm good with the way it is. But you take your equipment and you leave, we're stuck with potentially increased traffic, crime, things of that sort. So, you know, what happens at that point when you guys leave? I don't see the upside for us as a you know, in the neighborhood. So, I mean, there was like five more things I was going to say and I can't think of them right now. But. <laughs> That's, so, I, you know, again, I'm on the young brain of the same graphic. If I want to go to a park, I'll put my kids in the car and you know, I'll go drive somewhere. So. Thank you.